Good afternoon, it's Callie. Um, this is a testing video. I'm going to see if I actually know, can figure out how to edit. But while I'm doing this, I thought I would begin by giving uh, one of the bookshelf tours that I was talking about. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five bookshelves in my little cottage here. And I thought I would start with the living room one. So I'm in my wheelchair right now in the kitchen. Um, please join me. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you. Um, I didn't clean today or do anything in preparation. I figured let's keep it real. I'll show you what I got. So um, let us begin. This is the one. Um, this is the bookshelf that's in my living room right now. Um, and this upper portion, and I'll get close and show you all the books that are on here. But this top part, my son made for me a few years ago um, and I brought it with me when I moved from my previous residence to my current place um, I'm living right now where I've been for it was a year in October so this smaller bookcase on the top my son made for me and I embellished with some eggshell tiles those purple tiles you see and again I'll get closer but I'll show you the stuff that I have on top of my bookcase. I'll show you a little wax accident I had with a candle, two candles. Um, okay, and then let me back up here. I have my guitar behind me. I hope I don't bang into it. I'm in my wheelchair. Um, this one, two, three shelf bookcase right here, my boyfriend Tom made for me when I moved in here. Um, always, I've moved 40, yes, you heard me right, 40 times in my 50 years. Um, so I have moving down pat, I think. My kids will tell you. Um, they've helped with a lot of them. But the hardest part of most of my moves is not furniture, but all the books. Um, but anyway, I've been reading avidly since I was a child. And I continue to read. Um, unfortunately or fortunately, like right here, this is what I'm currently reading right now. Um, here's my Kindle, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. My Kindle Fire. I've got to upgrade. Um, the Fifth Sacred Thing by Starhawk, who a lot of my witchy friends know, wrote The Spiral Dance. This has been out for a while. I don't know what year this was published, but um, I'm a little ways into it right now, and I'm enjoying that um, for novel's sake. But I don't read a lot of novels lately anymore. I'm, I read a lot of uh, nonfiction um, things like that, but anyway, so, uh, and my Kindle, yes, here, has, uh, been a, a fortunate thing because, you know, all the books take up so much space, but I love my books, and although I'm, you know, I told you I'm a Virgo, and I like order and organization, um, I have purged probably hundreds of books in my lifetime, and I wish I had some of them back, um, and others, of course, when you lend books out, you know, you don't get them back. Um, speaking of lending, this copy of uh, The Stand by Stephen King, um, this is an unabridged version here. Um, I've bought a copy of The Stand probably five times, hardcover in my life, because I've lent it out so many times and just had to have it. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling here for a minute, and I'm going to stand up. This is my perspective. I don't often see up here. Uh, what do I have up here? That is a son who's hanging out. He was like a garden embellishment. Um, this wooden box, I actually have some calligraphy pens in. I got that at a place called the Sunshine Studio. These candlesticks, I believe my sister of the moon, Donathan, got me. And these end little vases, my dear friend Malice. Hi, Malice. Um, she sells, uh, she has an eBay shop and I got those on her eBay shop. Uh, this crescent moon oil burner I got from my youngest daughter, Danielle, uh, for one Christmas. And right now there's some patchouli oil in there. Surprise, surprise. Um, I do not leave candles, flames, incense, anything unattended, um, while I'm not here. And then I love, you know, armorillaries and astrolabs and globes and planets and anything, you know, telescopes, kaleidoscopes, anything um, related in that way. Again, I'm just, I'll get into my books in a minute, but I'm just giving you an overview of what I have here, random things. 
Um, this little glass box was an auction find. Candlesticks, brass candlesticks, auction find. This box was hand carved from, it said Haiti on the top. Uh, for those of you who follow me on Facebook, saw uh, when I put the chakra flags on them. Uh, let me see. Random crystal. My, <laughs> this is cute. My Wiccan army. I got to put this on my jacket. 13th airborne patch. Um, this is where I keep my bills and stuff when they come in. I notice that it's empty right now, which is a good thing. Um, this brass match thing, I guess, is like for next to your fireplace. I got it at the auction. I never would have bought that, um, but I, I'm hanging on to it because I believe there's going to be a fireplace in my future one day. A uh, little rain stick. Um, la, 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 la. The shrunken head apple witch lady. I made around Halloween time and I never gave her a body so she's just hanging out here this is a small little uh, witchy broom pen I have um, I'm gonna sit down you guys this little three two drawer drawer thing here I keep stamps and things like that in. got that at the auction have a little bamboo plant um, which actually a lot of people think is bamboo it's not it's really called a ribbon plant a lot of people refer to it as bamboo. It's for good luck. My little scraggly spider plant right here is not doing so well. Uh, it needs to be springtime here so I can get all my stuff over to the window. I have this tree incense burner that my son Jonathan got me one year for Christmas. Um, I don't use it to burn incense anymore, but I love him. And he hangs out uh, here, and I just do little offering bowls. There's an acorn in there little candle holder, a Galileo thermometer, this big one, that's ginormous actually, um, again, got at the auction one night, um, one night we got three of them for like ten dollars, different sizes, and then the next week, um, we got a couple more, so there's a glare here, that's a painting that I painted years ago of a goddess, it's funny because there's a huge full moon behind her, and then, oh, there's a crescent moon, <laughs> She lives on another planet, a, a planet with many moons, but that's old. And, you know, it's cool to kind of look back on your artwork and see um, kind of, I don't know, how your progress and how far you've come. Again, I have no training, obviously. There is that bottle that we altered not too long ago. Um, what do we got? What do we got? I'll go over on the other side. Dun, 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 dun. More candles. Again, you will see the massive drips. Um, oh, gosh. This is where I do my daily tarot card draw. And my poor fool got covered with red wax all over. Uh, dun, dun, dun. It was a big candle, and it just bled all over the other side, too. Um, what do we got? I love this print an old print a lot of you guys might be familiar with it that's in a birch bark frame with some twigs around it uh butterfly metal from the dollar tree uh some fractals i have well i'm not going to give you a cottage tour right now but some of those pottery that i got from one of my auction halls i stuck above the doorway there there's my little fairy girl again uh, one of my bottles. I also have the Empress. Uh, let's see. A lot of my runes. Um, runes, witches runes that I've made myself. This I have incense in and some herbs. And little treasures. Whoops, just dropped a candle. Okay, so on to the books. Let's see. Out here I have, and I'm not going to go... You know, we're not going to do a book discussion right now, but if you guys have any questions or comments, I would love to know what you guys are reading, but I'm just going to read them off. Flowers for Algernon, um, Native Sun, Papillon, The Screwtape Letters, The Bell Jar, Scarlet Letter, Walden on Life in the Woods, 1984, and Brave New World. Um, mm, what else? There's no rhyme or reason to this, folks. We have Helter Skelter. Um, the Mansa Murders, which I'm very, very interested in true crime. I love true crime. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Restaurant at the End of the Universe, Life and the Universe and Everything. All Douglas Adams, obviously. Um, love him. And Always Bring Your Towel. Uh, little Carlos Castaneda. Uh, I had a few other Carlos Castaneda books, but I do not have them any longer. 
Um, oh gosh, you guys, I'm sorry. I gotta sit down again. Life in a wheelchair. Oh my God, that was my guitar. Hopefully I'll be able to edit this. Uh, let's see. Gathered together in my name. Handmaid's Tale. The Road. Friday Night Knitting Club. That's random. Color Purple Alice Walker. Mm, naked Lunch. The Electric Kool-Aid Acid Test. You will see very quickly what a hippie I am. The Dharma Bums. Um, Jack Kerouac on the Road. Oh, Ken Kesey, my God, how many times have I read that? One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and also a huge fan of the movie. Um, Zen in the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. Oh, sorry about the glare. There we go. Zen in the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. Um, I read that probably 20 years ago and considered it quite an accomplishment that I got through it. Um, it was enjoyable, but, you know, it's about quantum physics, if, and it was just heavy duty, man. Uh, okay, what else we got? Uh, some classic Time Machine, War of the Worlds, Robert Louis Stevenson. I have, I love children's literature and I have a lot more I'll show you one day in my bedroom um, where I keep some books for my grandchildren. But um, so Kidnap, The Last of the Mohicans, Swiss Family Robinson, Gulliver's Travels, um, John Steinbeck. I'm a huge Steinbeck fan. Grapes of Wrath, The Pearl. Um, what do we got? Sweet Thursday. What is this? Oh, the Red Pony. Um, I'm a huge Ray Bar Bradbury fan. Medicine for Melancholy, just short stories. The October Country, Golden Apples of the Sun, Fahrenheit 451, Illustrated Man. These books are old, and I'm getting old, and they were old when I got them, and, um... I just, I treasure them and I can't, I can't get rid of them. Uh, anyway, this set of the um, Lord of the Rings trilogy, I got one year from, I believe my aunt or my grandmother for Christmas. I had gotten this set when I was like 10 and also a set of all the Little House books, which I no longer have and it breaks my heart. I think I have one or two, but um, I've had this for 40 years now. I'm 50, I've had it for 40 years, but read it, reread it. This is a hardcover bound, beautiful copy of The Hobbit. Um, it's a gorgeous book, the book itself, in addition to, of course, the story, which I'm a huge Hobbit fan. Um, more J.R. Tolkien, The Book of Lost Tales. I have some uh, Marion Zimmer Bradley, Miss of Avalon and Lady of Avalon. Some T.H. White, Sword in the Stone, Once and Future King. Um, some... <laughs> More Alice in Wonderland, uh, Robinson Crusoe, Catcher in the Rye, of course. What bookshelf would be complete without that? Gone with the Wind, um, Stranger in Strange Land, um, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, Tom Sawyer, um, <laughs> War and Peace. Have I read it? No, I have not. Oh, and all these books, 99.9% .9 of these books I've read and reread, and I'll let you know if I haven't read one. Um, this being one of them, and I totally have it to be pretentious on my bookshelf, so War and Peace. Um, William Shakespeare, and I have not read all of William Shakespeare, but I have read a lot of it. Uh, a Tree Grows in Brooklyn, which I love. I'm going to sit down again, and never fear, I know you're probably worried about the sound of my guitar, but it hit the carpet, and it's fine. It's padded. Um, okay, back to, here's my Kindle, and my Starhawk. Um, I am a huge, huge, huge Stephen King fan. So uh, I would say in the last 10 years, probably I stopped buying hardcover from him because basically he could publish his laundry list now. But um, I discovered him early on. And again, there's no, these aren't in order by any means, but this is my favorite, The Stand, all time. Favorite, favorite, favorite. Um, I've read it many, many times, but I just love it. And um, yeah, so... Here we go. I have Bag of Bones. I have um, Peter, uh, Black House that he collaborated with Peter Straub. Needful Things, Skeleton Crew, Nightmares and Dreamscapes, um, Dreamcatcher, Misery, which you guys all know that movie, oh my God, with Kathleen Bates. Um, incredible. She did a great job in there. It, uh, my friend Cat is afraid of clowns. I don't recommend you ever read that book, Cat. Um, from Buick Gate. Insomnia, um, 
The Eyes of a Dragon, which I love this book. And I heard that he wrote this for his youngest daughter when she would be afraid of his other stories and stuff. And he wrote this, uh, you know, kind of a fairy tale for her. And I love how he incorporates his other characters from, you know, all his other books into his stuff. So I love that. Um, what else? Desperation, Tommy Knockers, Rose Matter, um, which you artists know is a paint color. Um, Everything's Eventual. A lot of his short stories, really, really good stuff. These are my early ones that I had gotten. Um, and if I had known better, you know, I was young when I got these, I would have taken much, much better care of them. Um, but but I didn't, and I don't have anything, you know, I, I use my items. I don't put anything away for good. So, um, but anyway, uh, so The Dead Zone, Christine, Thinner, which Thinner and I had one other one that he wrote as Richard Bachman. Um, <laughs> oh, the Bachman books. Thinner, he wrote, It's there's no mention of Stephen King on this one. Later copies of this came out, um, and it says Stephen King, or, or yeah, as Richard Bachman. But this can This is one of the original ones that were in print, and there's actually a copy of this guy, Richard Bachman, who is anonymous. This is not Richard Bachman. Okay, this is a Stephen King book. He wrote this to see if he could get published again, like as a new writer when you struggle to get your work out there or any anything that you're into. Oh, God, with this glare. Um, he wanted to see, because like I said before, he could basically publish his laundry list and people would buy it because it's Stephen King. So he came out as Richard Bachman to see if he could get published. And he did do okay, but not as good as once it came out as, you know, this really is Stephen King. People went crazy. But this is probably worth something. And again, look how it's falling apart. The outs, This is just a dust jacket. But I would have, you know, kept in better shape if I'd have known. But anyway... Firestarter, Cujo. Um, as I'm looking here, I'm seeing that I don't see my copy of Carrie, which I probably lent out, and I don't have that back. Um, on writing, this is just his essays on writing in general. I got this at a library sale. Night Shift, love it. The Shining, love it. Salem's Lot, one of my all-time favorites um, after The Stand. Love that story. Um, what do we got? Hearts and Atlantis, Four Past Midnight. Gerald's Game, very disturbing. Um, different Seasons, these are, this is that book I was telling you about, the Bachman books. Um, these are early novels that he wrote under the name Richard Bachman, and that when he came out uh, as Stephen King, they were able to be published, or not published, um, you know, they really did much better. Cell, which I have in paperback, which, eh, it's okay, it wasn't my favorite. Uh, this is the Gunslinger and the Dark Tower series, and I've tried to get um, these, you can see the wax on the wall here, uh, in hardcover now, like I've looked on Amazon, these first four, five here, I have in paperback, um, these are the only two ones that I got in hardcover, but this whole series, the Dark Tower series, was amazing, um, and one of the main characters in it, I've re reread it like three times so far, um, is this woman, Susanna, who's in a wheelchair, she's got no legs, and it, she's just a, one of the heroes, and I love her, but incredible, incredible, but I love that series, um, and that's it for my Stephen King, and I know he's got more that came after that, but that's all that I have. Um, wow, this video is going to take a while. We're almost at 20 minutes. A little more H.G. Wells. I'm a huge science fiction fan, um, true crime, science fiction, horror, fantasy, um, okay, mythology, masterpieces of fantasy and wonder, um, Gregory Maguire, for those wicked fans of you, um, and I read the book a couple times before I saw the musical on Broadway, which was incredible, um, oh god, I wish I could go again, I, I could go again, I might go again, uh, anyway, I love Gregory Maguire, he's one of my favorite authors as well, so I read Wicked, and then I had to get Son of a Witch, which was great, and then he does these takes on old, you know, uh, fairy tales, as you guys know, you know, his version of The Wizard of Oz, but um, Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister, which is, you know, Cinderella spin. Um, he did Lost, Mirror, Mirror, which is like a Sleeping Beauty takeoff. Love him. Uh, okay, let me see. Oh, gosh, I need something to drink here, but all right, next shelf. I'll pick up the candle while I'm down here. All right. Um, what do we got? 
Herbal Healing, uh, Medicine Maker's Handbook, uh, Prescription for Nutritional <coughs> Healing, Rodale's Encyclopedia of Herbs, uh, Master Book of Herbalism, um, The Complete Master Cleanse. Let me know if any of you guys have done the Master Cleanse or are interested in hearing about it. I've done it a few times, um, my last time being for 22 days when I just drank the um, lemonade and I really actually loved it and I had great results, but people have mixed feelings about fasting. Let me know if you guys have done any cleanses. Uh, the Complete Idiot's Guide to Vegan Living, uh, Illustrated Directory of Healing Crystals, Making Natural Soaps. Uh, my mom makes soaps and I'm going to do a giveaway in this week's video because I reached 100 subscribers and part of that giveaway is going to include some of my mother's homemade soaps. So, um, sorry about the beeps, you guys. I'm filming on my phone, so I must be getting messages here. Uh, the Herbal Body Book, Indian Herbology of North America, uh, Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs. I have a witchy, uh, my bookshelf in my bedroom, my main bookshelf in my bedroom is only Wiccan and witchcraft books, but I do have other ones interspersed amongst my other stuff, but the bulk of my uh, Wicca library is in the bedroom, and I will be sharing that with you in another video as well. Uh, anyway, Garden Witches Herbal, uh, the Little Herb Encyclopedia. I have herbal almanacs from various years. Um, I don't get those every year. I do get the Llewellyn Magical Almanac every year, in addition to the Llewellyn Magical Almanac Planner. Um, but the herbal almanac I do get occasionally. Oh, it looks like the last one I got was in 2010. But anyway, uh, Cunningham's Magical Herbalism. I have the Moth Book, the Mushroom Book. Uh, those are just reference books with really cool illustrations and plates and identifying info. Um, I love outdoors and anything to do with being outdoors and hiking and nature and things like that. Um, the Sierra Club Wilderness Handbook, Medicine. These are um, Peterson Field Guides, which I know a lot of you guys are familiar with. They're great. I have Medicinal Plants and Herbs, Edible Wildflowers, Wildflowers and Eastern Trees. Um, the Green Pharmacy, and again, um, please, I hope no one's going to be offended at some of the things that are on my shelf, but I'm getting real with you guys. I'm sharing. Keep your personal views to yourself, but I'm, gonna, I'm not hiding anything here. So uh, anyway, don't judge. Uh, Paul Krasner's Pot Stories for the Soul, A Child's Garden of Grass, Offbeat Marijuana, uh, The Cannabis Grow Bible, The Emperor Wears No Clothes, uh, Marijuana for Dopes, Michael Moore's book, Dude, Where's My Country? Uh, Scrapbook of a Taos Hippie, The Hippie Handbook, Flower Child, um, Prozac Nation, Pagan Time, Dharma Girl, Sunshine. Um, that was one of my favorite books as a young woman, and I reread it periodically. I love it. Um, Split, which is just a novel about a, a young girl growing up uh, in a family of hippies. Memoirs of an Ex-Hippie. Voices from the Farm, uh, Hippie, This is Burning Man, um, The Summer of Love, Girl Interrupted, The Liars Club, A Girl Named Zippy, Ishmael, The Da Vinci Code, When Rabbit Howls, um, which was about a woman with multiple personality disorders, really, really good. Uh, Welcome Silence, uh, again, about a, a different story about a doctor with schizophrenia. Um, really, really good book. The Burning Bed, uh, about a woman in an abusive relationship. Um, one point in my life I could relate to that situation. Not the burning bed, but the relationship. Um, Hubert's Freaks. I love me some freaks. I'm loving this uh, year's American Horror Story uh, freak show season. Um, but I've always loved freaks. I am a freak. I love my freaks. And um, I'm interested in them. Love the movie Freaks, too. Wise Woman. Um, Alice Walker. Love her. The Temple of My Familiar. The George Carlin Letters, which is a book um, written by Sally Wade, George Carlin's wife. And it's basically George's love letters to her and a story of their love story. And it's very touching and very sweet. Um, I love that book. I have some books on some rock and rollers. I have a lot of these books I've lent out and some I haven't gotten back yet. Um, but anyway, Scars of a Sweet Paradise, which is about Janis Joplin, Fleetwood, um, which is Mick Fleetwood's story, My Life in Fleetwood Mac, John Lennon, The Lost Weekend, um, uh, Hammer of the Gods, The Led Zeppelin Story, 
um, Stevie Ray Vaughan. That's actually my boyfriend's book. Boyfriend, I have your book over here. Um, Lennon, a story about John Lennon. Long Time Gone, David Crosby's story. It's great. One of my favorites is um, Papa John from The Mamas and the Papas, his story. I think I lent that to my friend Donathan. Donathan, I want my Papa John book back. Uh, Bury My Heart at Wounded Knee. Great story. Great song by Buffy St. Marie. Um, Indigo Girls um, also covered it. And um, I sang it at one time with my girlfriend in the past. Great song. Great story. Unfortunate. Um, little Deepak Chopra, The Return of Merlin. Um, he, part one of that, uh, I think it was, uh, oh God, something about how to be a wizard. Um, I lent out, but I'll get that back. Um, my religious books, The Holy Bible, The Way of the Pilgrim, the Bhagavad Gita, The Tibetan Book of the Dead, The Essential Kabbalah, um, Tao, Te Ching, The Essential Rumi, um, Kael, Khalil, Khalil Gilbran, the prophet, um, the complete prophecies of Nostradamus. All right, I'm getting down on the floor. We're almost done with this bookshelf, guys. You're probably saying, thank you, goddess. Uh, what do we got here? This is the Whole Earth Catalog. Great, great, great. That's been published since the 70s. Excellent. Um, Peanuts, a golden celebration. That was like 50 years of Peanuts. Um, R. Crumb Coffee Table Art Book. I'm a huge R. Crumb fan. I love R. Crumb. Also a huge M.C. Escher fan. Um, Titters, uh, the first collection of, uh, of humor by women. That actually is a book, not the same book, but my, my mother had that book when I was a kid growing up, and I remember sneaking reading it, thinking it was dirty and stuff, because there's a lot of <laughs> women's humor, not for kids, you know. But I rebought it as an adult, and I love it. Uh, what do we got? Oh, the book from the auction, The Pictorial History of Sex and Films. Um, Diane Arbus, her photography, love her. Um, Maplethorpe, Polaroids, uh, again, that was uh, Patty Smith's lover. Um, there's a lot of good uh, pictures in there. Uh, what do we got? A uh, little fire sign theater. Um, kaleidoscope which is just some kaleidoscope artistic techniques for the creative soul. I should reread that. Uh, what is this? A Final Fantasy 13 uh, Complete Official Guide. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am a gamer. I'm a kid at heart. And uh, a Final Fantasy is not my favorite. I'm definitely... Okay, so anyway, that cut off. And I'm just going to try to resume wherever we were uh, and I'm actually going to try to edit these together so this is my big project it's actually good at cut off so the people's almanac uh, oh I was talking about being a gamer so I love Skyrim and um, uh, oh gosh I can't even think Fallout and um, yeah things like that <laughs> role playing types of stuff um, okay people's almanac I have A Grimoire for the Apprentice Wizard, which is a great book for younger adults, too, as well as old ladies like me, and The Companion for the Apprentice Wizard. I have a really cool, um, like, astrology book, Birthday Stars and Numbers, the complete personal reference guide, and it I've used that a lot. You can look up birthdays by day, and it tells so much. It's like a two-page spread on... Everything, you know, it's kind of mind-blowing, really, when you see how much um, we all share in common who are, you know, of the same sign and things like that. Anyway, the only astrology book you'll ever need. I have a tarot workbook here, um, a copy of The Glass Harmonica, The Deluxe Transitive Vampire. I have some Joseph Campbell, The Power of Myth. And I'm actually lucky enough to live very near the Center for Symbolic Studies, his place uh, of learning and teaching in Rosendale, New York. And I've been up there quite a few times. I've been uh, try to go to the Beltane Festival each year there, but they do um, many workshops and they have uh, outdoor trapeze classes and all kinds of really cool people and cool stuff going on there. So very cool. Uh, a copy of Which Is All, which is a magazine, Song to Demeter. Some of these are just very random. Witchcraft, A Secret History, A Little Mysteries of the Unexplained, um, Leonard Nilsson, Behold Man, which is amazing um, electron microscopic pictures of inside the body and 
just really cool stuff. Um, Carlos Sagan, Cosmos, uh, The Beatles, Complete Chord Songbook, a little, these are um, guitar songbooks, Indigo Girls, Simon and Garfunkel, Wicked, again, can't say enough, Leonard Skinner, Melissa Etheridge, um, there's that other book I got from the auction, Sigmund Freud, um, which is right next to my copy of Psychi- Psychiatric Mental Health Nursing. Um, a lot of my nursing books I left at my last job. Um, again, I mean, they're huge textbooks that I paid hundreds of dollars for. Um, I probably should have kept them, but I'm hoping someone else is getting some kind of good use out of them. But anyway, I did keep my psych mental health book. Um, copy of Women's Body, a little Tibetan relaxation, The Art of Sensual Massage, Women's Bodies, Women's Wisdom. I love her, Christine Northrup, um, MD. She's super wise. I recommend her to any of my women friends that are into holistic um, alternative treatments and healing through nutrition and um, and good things. She's wonderful. Uh, the Hand Sculpted House. I'm really into cob building. I love cob homes. I hope to have a cob home one day or maybe just a cob studio on the Cob Builder's Workbook. The Encyclopedia of Country Living. You can see that's well loved. Uh, and that, I, I, who, who, I can't even remember who, who wrote this. Uh, Carla Emery. I recommend this highly. If you guys could probably get it cheap on Amazon. Super good book. Um, again, here, this is randomness. 10,000 Answers, The Ultimate Trivia Encyclopedia, Merlin's Big Book of Puzzles, Games, and Magic, 1,001 Minute Puzzles, um, what is this? Boredom Busters, these are like kids for my grandkids, Friendship Bracelets, Henna Body Book, um, Polymer Clay, couple Polymer Clay books, Beading, um, what is this? Oh, painting on glass. Images. Oh, these are kind of cool, um, just like coloring books, you know, for uh, g- grown-ups, and I put that in quotes. Same thing with these mandalas and Tibetan mandalas. Um, tie-dye. Um, tie-dye and batik. Macrame. The Unbelievable Bubble Book which is great. I used to have this purple bubble wand and we would make these huge, we'd add glycerin to Dawn dish detergent and make our own dish soap bubbles. And you could practically play with these things if you made them on a humid afternoon. They were so big and so um, the surface tension increases because of the glycerin and you can kind of bounce them around. They were incredible. Anyway, I'm a bubble fan. Can't have enough bubbles. So macrame, needle craft, Needle Weaving, Complete Guide to Needlework, America's Sewing Book, Simplicity, the best sewing book, Sewing for Dummies, Sewing for Idiots, uh, a kid's crochet knitting book. I crochet and knit and do all, I love to do embroidery and needlework, but my crocheting and knitting are basically limited to scarfs and pot holders. Um, I have yet to master patterns. I know, I get it logically, um, but I just lose interest. It's just not my thing. I don't, again, I can do a mean scarf or something like that, but I'm not, you know, I haven't tried to knit a sweater or something like that. My mother and my, I think my sister does too, but my mom's really, really good at it. But some uh, idiot guides to crochet, knitting, and quilting, hand-dyed quilts. Um, I actually did do a hand-sewn, this is a beautiful book. I did a hand-sewn quilt for the first time for my um, eldest granddaughter, Riley Marie, um, Ra- my eldest daughter, Rachel's daughter in North Carolina, and I did do it by hand. Um, it was quite an undertaking. I'm very proud of it. It's beautiful. I wish I could do one for all of my grandkids, but um, yeah, it was such a big thing that it's kind of daunting when I think about doing another one right now, but who knows? Um, let's see. Birds of the World, Birds, uh, Feeder Birds of Eastern North America, my I have huge French doors, like sliding glass doors to my little deck here today, and I spend all day every day looking at the birds outside, and I love it. And I also my grandson is now a fan, and he can identify um, our birdie friends. House Plant Survival Manual. Why is this crooked? Um, Encyclopedia of Ingor... Oh, because they're crooked. Hello. Organic Gardening. I'm almost done. Illustrated Guide to Gardening. 
who's who of among students in American junior colleges in 1992, and I am proud to say that I am in that book. Um, I made who's who in 1992 for outstanding student service in uh, American Junior College and a few other things, um, Dean's Honors List, etc., etc. And I'm pretty proud of that. And yes, I bought the book. Um, my yearbooks from 1978 to 1982. This is a just a um, my own personal songbook um, of songs that I like to play on the guitar. And this is my photo album. Um, kind of, if I had to grab one thing, if the house were on fire, God forbid, that would be it. So, anyway, you guys, thank you for joining me um, on this very long foray. Um, this is my biggest bookcase. Wait, I'm going to flip her around. Whoop! My biggest bookcase, and I, um, the other one shouldn't take so long. So, I hope you're having a great day, and I'll be resuming filming my auction video for tomorrow, and details about my giveaway for reaching 100 subscribers, which I'm thrilled about. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.